Hello and welcome to the perfect place to put a practice podcast. I'm your host, Mike Green of Dr. Demographics. And today we're going to dive into five great options in the Southeast sector of the United States. So we're talking uh, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, that, that whole sector right down there. And five areas that we feel like you should be considering if you're looking at an expansion practice or um, you are looking to build your first practice. These are areas that we would recommend that you look at pretty heavily because there's a lot of opportunity. All of these areas are doing extremely well. I, I would say they're doing extremely well post-COVID specifically. Uh, the numbers are strong. We think they're really well positioned for when the economy does turn the other direction and goes in a positive way that they will do extremely well uh, uh, in addition to the outlying areas of each of these five locations, we feel like they will do as, uh, as well. They will do well as well. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. This is, this is option number one and we've got five, but we really like Atlanta, Georgia specifically. I would say Atlanta, the North area of Atlanta, Atlanta's had a really interesting thing happen post COVID and, it has been the beneficiary of many uh, businesses, practices that were so locked down during COVID in in New York, uh, specifically some of the other East Coast uh, cities. And the doctors are saying, hey, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to go through this again. And so they are moving out of the city. And for whatever reason, North Atlanta has been a place that uh, several of them have landed. And that is true for practice owners, but also true for many businesses as a whole. And so we have seen a lot of growth in that North Atlanta area. I'm talking the, that line of if you went right from downtown and you went kind of northeast just a little bit, that Brookhaven, Sandy Springs uh, um, area, even even uh, Druid Hills uh, has, has had a lot of good growth. That North Atlanta area, <clears throat> I think, is as good right now as it has been for 10 years. It was doing well before COVID. I think it's going to its position to do even better uh, during this post-COVID time. And I know the farther away we get, that post-COVID uh, statement isn't as relevant. But here's five things that I really like about Atlanta. So first one is obvious the obvious population growth and the diversity in that population. I think that North Atlanta is a fantastic place, specifically if you're a foreign doctor. Um, the diversity there is excellent. And North Atlanta is really a place where you can find uh, exactly what you're looking for. And so if you want to find something that is a, a specific ethnicity or you want to uh, serve a particular age group demographic, North Atlanta is a place where the population has growth has been strong enough that you can really decide you can write your own ticket and say, I want this, this and this or this is this is the type of patients that I want to treat. And uh, you can really find and carve that out, whereas that's not a luxury in a lot of other cities across the country. But North Atlanta, I think, is a great place if you're looking for diversity. The second thing I really like about Atlanta is it has a really educated workforce. So with that population growth uh, comes uh, a lot of new workers uh, and a lot of the new workers. There's many in the construction trade because of the lot of developments that are being built. But you also have. Uh, people in technology, finance, healthcare, et cetera, that are highly educated people. So specifically for specialists, I think that North Atlanta is a great place for you to land. Um, I think it's a place where you're, again, going to be able to find a, uh, a patient base who is highly educated, that is going to understand the value of a specialist. Uh, it's a great place to be if you are a specialist practice doctor. Uh, third thing we really like is Atlanta is really a business friendly place, especially if you're coming from somewhere that's not business friendly, uh, a city that really has you locked down. You will you will be really grateful and relieved for a lot of the city programs, resources, networking opportunities, um, and access to again talking if you're a specialist. The ability to build referrals and have built-in programs, uh, both through uh, associate specific, you know, a dental association or a veterinary association, 
and also uh, associations that are not practice specific, but are very strong within the area. So if networking and building a referral base is an important factor for your success, for your practice strategy, uh, North Atlanta has great options there and a really business friendly environment. Fourth thing is it really is a uh, a real strategic place uh, place for uh, transportation. The infrastructure is really strong. Um, air, rail, road, all of that is really strong in Atlanta just because of the positioning. The the Hartsfield Jackson International Airport is one of the busiest in the world. Um, it facilitates both a lot of uh, uh, consumer travel as well as business travel. Um, it's just it's just a happen in place. And again, I think it's just because of the strategic location within the country. It's just a busy area and businesses know that. And so they're building a lot of infrastructure around that. And with that infrastructure comes new workers, high paid workers um, that are filling the homes, which will then fill your practice. So really great transportation hub uh, there in Atlanta and a really strategic location. And the last thing is, Atlanta is still a really great place to live when it comes to cost of living and business cost. Um, very, very affordable. And again, if you're coming from a state that has a high business cost, your employees are very expensive, your your rent is very expensive, you will be excited. <laughs> That's the only word I can really put to it. But you will be pleasantly surprised by the cost of living and the business costs associated with uh, uh, the Atlanta area. So that goes for real estate, uh, tax rates, operational costs, um, all the costs associated with starting a business. All of them are very, very reasonable. Georgia's whole is a great state to to live and work, but also Atlanta specifically is really, really um, advantageous and attractive to small businesses and practices. So again, Atlanta, great, great option. Specifically, I would say that northern section, if you're looking for a area that's in the southeast, but also is a really central hub uh, for you and your family and extended family, uh, Atlanta is a great place to be. So that's option number one. Let's move down south a little bit to the thriving hub of Miami. Now, if you have many of you have talked to me, uh, we've done reports for you, you know that I love Florida. Florida is a great place to be. And we have really been pushing, not pushing, but we have really been impressed. And so we have recommended um, Jacksonville, Tampa, um, even Fort Myers have been really, really great uh, as they've gone through their different evolutions. But I would say the hot spot right now uh, for Florida that um, a lot of doctors don't consider because it's too far south is Miami. Miami has a lot of really great things going for it. Um, obviously, awesome place to live. But and there's not really one specific place. I would say inland Miami is is got a lot of great opportunity. But let me let's let's talk about five things that I love about Miami. So the first thing is, uh, again, a very diverse population. You have uh, a lot of culture there in Miami. And so if that is important to you, both for living and for working, Miami is a super vibrant place with with really really diverse multicultural environment um, in every in every way from the art to the food to the neighborhoods. Um, it's just a fun place to be, and it's a great place to raise a family, and certainly a fantastic place if you are a member of one of those other cultures. You're going to find a lot of like minded people down in Miami. So the diversity is definitely one of the top things there in Miami uh, that it's going to be <clears throat> really appealing to you as a doctor and as building a practice. Second thing is the proximity to Latin America and the international connectivity. So uh, again, if you have ties to the Latin America, Caribbean um, uh, cultures, and you want to build a practice that is again going to be uh, populated by people from uh, from uh, those cultures, Miami is an awesome place to be. Really, really strong uh, Latin uh, American countries um, and its population, and that goes for trade, cultural exchanges, business opportunities, and really makes it an ideal place to access that local and global markets and flair. So great place to be. 
certainly if you're wanting to be in that Latin American, Caribbean uh, type uh, population. Third thing is the tourism and hospitality industry. So for many of you doctors that have some kind of an emergency uh, uh, aspect to your clinic, whether you're an a emergency dentist or emergency vet or, or something of that nature, obviously Miami has a lot of tourism. And so that gives you the option and the opportunity to build a solid, consistent patient base of the people that live there, but also have access to uh, a lot of the tourists that are going through that area. And so when that happens, it creates that opportunity for you to really create an impact on your bottom line, because it's able to fill a lot of those gaps. Practices that have done uh, that strategy down in Miami and other tourism uh, cities throughout the country have done extremely well of keeping that bottom line consistent, especially in those a little bit slower times. Because a lot of times those slower times are, you know, in the middle of the summer or other uh, vacation times. Well, guess what? The vacationers are in Miami, so it gives you the opportunity to uh, maximize your your uh, your your calendar and, and uh, ultimate profitability with some of those patients. So the fourth thing is great access to skilled workforce education hubs. One of the hardest things that a lot of practices struggle with is finding good help. And Miami has a great, great tradition of, of strong institutions, universities, colleges that provide a really diverse workforce. And so you will find people in uh, that can manage your office. You'll find people that can manage your technology. Lots of people in the healthcare industry. These people are skilled. They're smart and they will drive. They're very, very cutting edge. And so if you want to be a cutting edge practice and have some great things happen for uh, your business as far as growth in, in innovation and technology, this population in Miami has a lot of access to people that are specialists in that. So it gives you some great options there. And the last thing, is uh again trade and commerce um again miami is is a central area for a lot of international trade and what that does is that creates a lot of new opportunity new people to uh to have to work in that industry and so again typically these people are I, I call them high meat and potatoes people. They're they're higher middle class people, um, very, very consistent, have great jobs, and will keep your practice busy for a long time. As that trade and commerce grows and new companies move in, um, and again, with Port Miami and some of those other big international hubs, um, it creates a lot of great jobs for people and people ultimately for you to treat them and their families. So uh, Miami, love it, love it. Great, great place, uh, especially if you want to mix an awesome lifestyle with an incredible place to practice, Miami is a great option. So option number three, let's go up the coast a little bit and let's talk about Charlotte, uh, Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. Boy, can't get my words out. I love Charlotte. Charlotte is a great place that's been kind of like above average for a while. And Charlotte is a place that uh, uh, gives you the opportunity to um, uh, maybe you want to live in South Carolina, but you want to work in, in, in Charlotte. So you've got the border right there. Fort Mill is a great place right there on the border that's growing extremely well. Um, but all around, uh, the belt, uh, the belt route, uh, 485, I think is what it is, or, or maybe it's 480. I think it's 485. The belt loop around, um, Charlotte, uh, there is a lot of people that are moving out of the city and to those suburb areas. And so it really doesn't matter what direction you go from downtown. You could be in a great place with some great opportunity. The growth is really strong. Uh, the opportunities are great. Charlotte is a great community to live in. Let's talk about five things I love about Charlotte. So it has had a great um a uh, growth rate over the last couple of years. It's been really, really rapid. And a lot of that is in migration. Charlotte has experienced a, a significant population growth over the years. It's, it really has made it one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. Uh, the influx of residents, and a lot of those are actually young professionals and families. And so if you're a orthodontist, if you're a pediatric dentist or a pediatric medical doctor, Charlotte is a great place for you to go because a lot of the younger families are ending up there. 
that workforce that's coming in are um, are growing. It's stable, very prosperous, and that population is ideal for building a solid patient foundation uh, for your practice. Second thing is very much like Miami. It's very education, educated and skilled workforce. And I would say both blue collar and white collar. So you have people in finance, technology, healthcare, manufacturing, absolutely. But there's a lot of blue collar workers in Charlotte that are your plumbers, your electricians, your people in the construction trades that actually are the higher, higher income earners for the area. They're typically have gone to a trade school. They have a degree. Um, the These are very well-educated, great business owners that ultimately make fantastic patients and clients for your practice. So great population there. The other thing, obviously, Charlotte's known for, and you probably know this, is super business friendly. Um, it offers a really favorable tax rate. There's incentives. There's support programs specifically for new practices. They want you there. And that might be unfair familiar to you coming from California and some of these other places, but people in Charlotte, the businesses, the government in Charlotte, they want you there. And so there's all kinds of resources built in for the growth of small uh, startups, new practices, especially, man, they love the services. So, so you as a practice owner, they are going to be more than excited about having you in and, uh, and, and working with you if you move into Charlotte. Um, next thing, uh, you know, Charlotte is a financial and banking hub, creating a lot of those solid uh, foundational jobs. And again, bringing a lot of people that have no connection to Charlotte to move to Charlotte for you to have access to. The last thing is, is Charlotte, again, because of its location, it creates a really great infrastructure for uh, for the airport, um, for uh, businesses that are, does a lot of business and trade um, accessibility through air, road, and rail there in Charlotte. Just all around a great option. I love Charlotte. Spent a lot of time there, worked with a lot of practices in Charlotte, and I think it's a great option for you to consider. Okay. Whew. Stay with me. We got, I think we got two more. We got two more on these last two are exciting. Hopefully something that you are looking forward to. Let's move to the West to Nashville, Tennessee. Now, specifically, I love the area in South Nashville down to the Franklin area, uh, Brentwood, Oak Hill. That area is just growing fantastically. And I think it's creating a lot of great opportunity in Nashville. Now, Nashville is a place where, a lot of great things are happening and have happened for a while. You have strong population growth. You have a big influx of skilled talent, specifically in technology and healthcare uh, that's moving to that area. Nashville is an area where people are wanting to move to the suburbs. And so if you would like a practice that has a little bit more room to breathe in the suburbs, even the outside edge of the suburbs. Again, that area between Brentwood and Franklin, it's going to give you some opportunity to create uh, the practice that you want. That's maybe a little bit slower lifestyle than, than the fast pace of the inner city, a uh, very well-educated workforce. Um, you have people that um, you've got a lot of universities there, obviously, but you have people that are in the uh, healthcare, the technology, the music business, and then business, right? And so you have a lot of strong foundation for business growth and innovation, and really strong access to building a thriving workforce within uh, the community. You don't have to go super far to find a really strong workforce to build as a solid foundation for your practice as far as patients go to go um very very entrepreneur entrepreneurial <laughs> uh, ecosystem in nashville uh, you'll find that there is a lot of small startups and so one thing that we really like uh, practices to do in the nashville area is to have a in-house plan of some kind and so a lot of these small entrepreneurs they work from home 
Um, uh, they might be part-time musicians even, but they've got online businesses, small businesses, uh, businesses that are kind of off the radar, off the map a little bit. And the city loves that in the, in Nashville, they, they have a really strong environment for entrepreneurs, mentorship programs, funding opportunities, lots of resources. And so what that does is again, brings in those young professionals, super smart people that have figured out how to make money online from home and they also need great services for their young families. And so you can position yourself as somebody who um, has a really great schedule throughout the day because most of those entrepreneurs can come at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the afternoon because they're not working the typical nine to five. And so again, you can build a really strong business through just those young entrepreneurs that are moving to that Nashville area. And they're moving there because they can fly anywhere they need to from the airport. Uh, it's a really great central location in the in the country. Uh, so a lot of people are moving to Nashville that again, have zero relationships relationships with prior relationships with Nashville. They're not from there, not even from Tennessee, but Nashville is a place that's bringing them in. Cost of living and affordability is great compared to a lot of other major cities. Nashville offers that really relatively lower cost of living and more affordable business environment. So, so your uh, lease, uh, your overhead, your, your employees are all going to be very reasonable when it comes to that. So that affordability attracts a lot of those startups and those small, small businesses. And that's why that's growing. That sector is growing in Nashville. Love Nashville, great place, love the city, just an awesome place to be. Let's go back to North Carolina, one of my favorite places um, for right now, and it wasn't a couple of years ago, to be frank, um, was doing okay, but I certainly wouldn't have put it in my top five, and that's Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina, specifically the area I would say, you know, Durham is doing really well, but South Raleigh, so I'm talking like like Holly Springs, Apex, um, that area, Cary is doing extremely well. I think there's a lot of opportunity in Raleigh. Raleigh has um, some really cool things that are happening there, specifically in the technology hub. You have uh, what's called the quote unquote research triangle, meaning that, that that there's a strong, strong drive for high tech industry, research parks, innovation centers. It really is an ideal location for uh, technology startups, biotech companies, research driven ventures, both small and large. Um, you have, and with that, again, when I whenever I say those things, that's attracting really great people, smart, smart people, well-educated people that make very loyal and consistent patients and clients for your practice. Um, you have uh, a great, great skilled workforce. Um, you have reputable universities and research institutions, North Carolina State, Duke, uh, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. You have all of these really great institutions that are churning out these really, really great people that, again, make for very, very consistent and loyal patients. You know, the other thing about Raleigh, though, uh, take take away all of that. Raleigh's just a great place to live. I mean, it is an awesome mix of, of the typical urban amenities, cultural atta- attractions, outdoor activities, all for a pretty relatively low cost of living compared to other like really strong tech hubs in uh, in, in the U.S. So again, if you're coming from California and maybe you've looked at the, you know, San Francisco, some of those other areas, and then you, or maybe even Seattle, and you compare it to the cost of living in Raleigh, man, is there's just not even on the same page. You have a lot of growth that's happening. You've got more diversity that's coming in, a lot more than used to be happening in, in Raleigh. Raleigh is a great op- option, opportunity. Um, I know that there are a lot of doctors. We we write reports all the time for the Raleigh area. It is an area that's getting a lot of attention right now, as it well should, because it is really outpacing the professional community um, when it comes to growth, in our opinion. So a lot of great options. All right. I hope one of those five areas is somewhere that you would consider 
Um, of course, this is a broad assessment. Every neighborhood community is going to have its own quirks, its own uh, positive and negatives. Um, that is why we exist here at Dr. Demographics to really dial in the demographics and make sure that we help you pick the perfect place to put your practice. Again, I'm Mike Green with Dr. Demographics. Visit us at drdemographics.com. Uh, you can reach out to me uh, individually at Mike at drdemographics.com. That is doctor spelled out, Mike at drdemographics.com. And with that, we will see you on the next episode. Thanks for joining.